All right, thank you so much for staying with us here on the Sports Max Zone. And it's now time to talk about the beautiful game of football. There was fantastic news for Clarendon football on Friday in an off-season where there have already been seven managerial changes from the 12 remaining teams in the Jamaica Premier League from last season. The Clarendon-based Bear United went a step further and shook the landscape of senior men's football on the island. Well, for the upcoming JPL season, we'll, we will be hearing the team name Bear Phoenix United. The club has now officially merged with Phoenix All-Stars Academy, the club responsible for talents such as Leon Bailey and recently Dijon Whisper Richards. Now, let's make it clear. The news did not end there. Now, the club has been boasting both the Manning Cup and the Costa Cup winning head coaches from schoolboy football on their touchline, uh, Craig Butler and Lenny Teacher Hyde. Both men now join me to share some more about the new Fair Phoenix United. Good afternoon, Craig. So good to have you in studio. Good afternoon. It's always a pleasure seeing you, Mariah. Oh, thank you. So, you know, this new development um, came as a surprise to a lot of people. Fair Phoenix United. I want you to just share with us a bit about your role now that you've um, become co-owner of this club. What will your role be in this organization? Well, you know, as usual, we will be spearheading and, and um, um, taking on the mantle of looking to win the Premier League. Right. You know, we're winners. We don't want to lose. My personal role is to guide that, to coach it, to support it, to manage it, and to get the players out once we have accomplished our goals. Yeah, so basically you're taking on a lot of different hats. You say the aim is, of course, to win the JPL title. You have... Um, responsibilities as well with Mona. So you have your Mona thing going on, now Vair Phoenix United, you have the Phoenix Academy. Um, it's a lot that you're going to be trying to do. Just... Well, actually, we, we, Lenny and I, we have a, a strong team. We have Kyle Butler and Ricardo Martin, both right. former professional players doing their European B license right now. And they have been preparing um, um, Mona for us. And now we'll join the coaching staff at... Um, Bear Phoenix. So, you know, we really can do what we do best, uh, which is guide the process and lead the process and work together. We both have two very effective systems that when combined, yeah. we believe will be unstoppable and will be the, the future of Jamaica's football. Yeah, well, Lenny is on the phone with us and this news came to as a surprise to me when I recognized that he would be a part of the coaching setup. Good afternoon, coach. How are you doing? <laughs> Good afternoon and thanks for having me. So, Coach, this new venture that you will be taking on after, of course, you know, um, ending ties with Don Beholden football, um, what are you looking forward to most in this and how do you see this will work? Do you think you can work with Craig Butler on this project? Of course, definitely. You know, we, we, we understand the football. He understand how my team play, I know how his team play. So it, it will be a good synergy for both of us. Plus the, the, two, the other two coaches that he mentioned. We yeah. want to get a system in place that, you know, when you see our team playing, you can know that it's the Lenny and the Craig Butler team. This we have a different brand of football, a system in play. And, and it's good to have the youth them that we can start from that age group, from under 14, we have all our kind of, Teams in, in the Phoenix set up, you know, you have the under 14, under 15. So it's good to we have a, a senior team that the players can look up to, the, the young players can look up to and, and, and attract them with some good football. And, and is that what I'm bringing to the table over there, you know? So it's easy to work with, Craig. We know football, we know what we want from out of the players. And I, I think it will work, you know? Yeah, and you speak about a different brand of football. What are you thinking in terms of this new brand? The, the new brand? Yeah. Yeah, man, excellent. Excellent move from Mr. Butler. You know, as you say, we want to win the Premier League. And we can have our aim is to get the players them overseas. That's the most important thing. You know, we have a lot of talented players out here. And, and, and you know, Craig know the runnings of doing that, making that move. Right now, we have a team in, in, in England playing. We play Aston Villa today. We lost 3-2. So, so we have teams playing. And most of those players, when they, they come back to Jamaica, they will be in the Phoenix, their Phoenix setup. 
Right. So it, it, it's a good move, you know? And Lenny, one of the things I thought about is you're from Clarendon, which means that this project will be very personal to your heart and it must feel good to be able to make a difference in your very own parish. Of course, definitely. And, and you know, we, we are from there, a coach down there. I used to go to the school. So, yeah, players even in that era, we're not limited, limited, limited in it to just Kingston players. You know, we have, we have players in Clarendon and every parish, you know. So it's good to spread our wings and try and harness the talent that, that is in the country. You yeah. know, that's the aim first. And we can feed these players into the national setup. You know, that's what we want to do, you know. Yeah. And this one is for you, Craig. You know, when I saw the agreement being a 10-year deal, um, I thought, okay, you're probably thinking long term. Um, what are some of the long term goals that you hope to achieve from this club? And some of the players that, because I know how your brain works, you're already thinking ahead. Who are some of the players that you're targeting for this JPL season? Well, we have a very strong team. We have, you know, Clarendon College players from last year. Yes. We have Mona players from last year, from the year before. Yeah. And we have youth. Plus, we also have some maturity. Um, coming back so we're very excited about that you know we, we don't want to recruit we want people okay. who want to be there with us I think that the quality that we have already plus what's already there in the club and we have some about about 14 15 players training now from the club itself from before and they're talented you yeah. know sometimes you know the the leadership the guidance and the, the, the coaching that you have the motivation that you have and, and, and the infrastructure that you set up is key and important to success. You know, having them believe and having them working together. You know, so with Lenny, Lenny and I have, have known each other for many, many years. You know, yeah. Lenny's son is a phoenix and to this day we love Jail. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's um, something that we, 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 have, we, have, we have similar personalities, believe it or not. Wow, that's why I lot. asked him how he yeah. would work with you. Because no, he comes easy. across really quiet. Now, I don't know Lenny personally because I'm not really He's around. He's the funniest guy ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you sit with Lenny, you're dead with laugh, you know? Okay. But yeah. one of the things with him, though, is that he's focused, he's dedicated, and he's not selfish. Okay. And that is a component that is, is, is so rare in Jamaican football where people are willing to work together to share, to enhance and develop and motivate one another. And it takes nothing off of his... His, his, his shirt to say, for Craig to tell him something and for him to tell me something. Yeah. You know, we don't, can only make ourselves better. And that's what we're aiming for. We want in this 10 years to make not just their Phoenix, but the league much better. We want to see the stadiums rammed. We want to bring in, have players coming from overseas to join us. Yeah. We want to have our players being developed at such a rapid rate that yes. when we go to a World Cup, we're not going to a World Cup to, 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 to participate. We're going there to win. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, Coach, this one for you, um, Lenny. They finished the JPL season um, last year on in ninth position on 27 points. Now, you know, people will think, all right, new management, new coach, new setup. But what are some of the areas, because coach, you would have been looking on at the team, despite not coaching that team, coaching another team, but whenever you played them, you would have studied the team properly. What are some areas you feel this season, you know, you want to ensure that you pay close attention to so that their United is competing in the top three? Let's just say that. Yeah, well, well, I've watched them a couple of games last season, you know, play against them. Yeah. But they, they play some good football sometimes, you know. But you see, the consistency is that lacking in Jamaica. You will play, we, even when I was at Dumbawolin, I remember three games we played. Excellent performance. And then we went down, you know. So, so the consistency and is how you prepare the team. If you have everything in place where you can get the team up to par with fitness, the discipline, the, the nutrition, all of them things there. And that we have to bring in at Phoenix and Veer. That the, the, the players them to play at that, that level every time they meet the field. So the preparation, the, 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 the facilities, all of them things that we have to put in place to let the players them give up their best every time. You know, so that we want to bring at Veer. Get them consistently playing well or we train them, or they understand the system, or we want them to do on the pitch, 
you know, that is the key thing we want to bring there now. So, so the professionalism we have to bring in the clubs right now. And not, not only in fear, but the Premier League on our own. Yeah, the, 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 the mod like what Cavalier is doing, Mount Pleasant is doing, all of them things that we have to get every club and do that. Imagine if we do that. The, the, the season is going to be very competitive. Yeah, for sure. You know? And, you know, we can't wait to see the competitive season. But you just yeah. mentioned your old job, Don Beholden. And, I mean, you're on the show. I have to ask you about it. it it's no secret in the manner in which, of course, Coach, um, you had to exit the job just after one season. Craig is here sitting with me. So it's, you know, um, the best time to ask you, do you feel as if joining this Ver Phoenix setup that you'll be in a better place when it comes to, you know, job security and everything as a coach? Yeah, yeah, we he spoke to me about that. That is the first thing Craig mentioned. He said, well, I'm dead for 10 years. <laughs> so you, 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 when, you, when you hear that, you're a comfortable coaching. You know, you, you can, you, you can make a mistake. You're going to learn. You're going to learn from it. And you build yourself as a character. You know, we want, I, I went to the national team the other day, and at 18, we lost about three games, and we beat Ecuador. Yeah. And, and at, at them experience that you're gone when you're a coach and you're a coach good. You learn all the overseas things set up. So we want to bring them things that at Phoenix, as I say. And from your comfortable coaching, sky is the limit for you. You know, you're not afraid to say, boy, I'm a loser. I'm not going to lose my job and them something. You know, that, but too old for that, you know. Yeah. You know, so you're very comfortable, as I say, you can do the job, you know. What I'll say to you is this. This is Lenny Hyde. This is a national treasure. Yeah. Respect due upon the man's name. And we as a nation, we tend to learn to, to disrespect people who have worked hard for our country. Yeah. Yeah? And Lenny has done that as a player, as a coach, as a person, yeah? as a producer of talent, and also giving Jamaica his own sons for quality. Yeah? One of them is running in the Olympics, I believe, um, this, this, this summer. Yeah. So, one of the things I want to see is I want to see how well the example that we set will go across. Because, you know, when we played against each other in the 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 All Man, the, the Costa Cup, and and Olivia Shield, yeah, yeah, um, him, him sought me out properly. <laughs> <laughs> Hold him back in the all man in yeah. and sort him out properly too. Yeah, so but it was fun too but for the, the coaches. Thing is, it's fun. <laughs> yeah. It's a joy. We laugh with each other after we say, yeah, man, we we'll yeah. get through. But the thing is this brilliant minds, people with confidence, and people who, who, who know what they're doing, is not uncomfortable with competition. Yeah. It's not uncomfortable when there's a Lenny Hyde and Craig Butler coaching together. It, it's not going to affect us. Right. Because we've known each other for so long and we want the same for not just our clubs, but for the youth of Jamaica, you know? Yeah. And, you know, one of the things, um, Craig, and I find myself doing this too, you know, when there's a new club coming into the JPL or any competition on the whole, the first thing people use the term is they're underdogs, right? You know, they're new to the setup. You know, we're not going to put too much attention or pressure on them. Do you feel because um, you are now attached to this Fair Phoenix United team, um, a man like Lenny Hyde is at the helm of the team, teams will avoid saying that these are the underdogs or they would put um, a bit more respect seeing that you've had the experience and all these different things when it comes to football or uh, am I going to come on the show and say the underdogs they're Phoenix United well we don't care what anybody would want to say we're coming for the trophy yeah that's what we're coming for we're coming to win we're not coming here to as I said you know one of the things that Jamaicans as a whole has have done is that we undersell ourselves yeah. You know, we don't realize our potential and we accept less than what we could become. I dream big. Yeah. I am dreaming of winning a World Cup. And if I don't win, at least I'll get to a semi final. If I can get to a semi final, I can get to where people, more players get transferred and the economy gets better and young kids are having a better way of life. Yeah, and we have to do that by the example through the Premier League. Yeah, you said Craig Butler, his players um, cannot be evaluated because they don't play in the Manning Cup. Mm -hmm. Okay, we play in the Manning Cup and we win it. Now you move the goalposts 
I said, okay, well, they don't play in the Premier League. Now we're going to play in the Premier League. I've got the best coach in this country. Yes. And yeah. let, me, let me just ask the best coach in the country this question. Lenny Hyde, this one is for you. We're getting ready for another JPL season, you know. Um, what are some of your personal targets as a coach? You're now teamed up with Craig Butler and, of course, Phoenix United. As we get ready for this season, what are some of the things you, coach, want to ensure that you get out of this season? Well, the first thing, I will want quality football. Yes. First thing, that is the thing. We want to attract spectators to veer ground, Phoenix veer football field. We want to ram up down there. So we have to play attractive football. We have to be winning games. First thing, in order for us to win the title, we have to be in the playoffs. So that is the first thing. We have to reach in the playoffs in the top six and, and, and get the title. That is the first goal for, it, for me as a coach this season. Carry them to the playoff. And when you reach there, anything can we can win the league. Do you feel like you have any revenge in the back of your mind? Just in the manner in which... No, man. No, I'm not, I'm not stay there. I'm not stay there really. I'm not revengeful. I wish them be all in all the best. Yeah. And I wish... Remember, I said, move, move, get fire from Wally Park Club, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Well, if I'm <laughs> so, I might... I, I, I will take the revenge, Phil. I will take the re revenge, Phil. Lenny. Yeah, yeah. You you take the revenge. <laughs> All right, Craig. Well, we're going to wrap up this segment, but just, you know, your final words about the partnership, um, what you're looking forward to um, for this upcoming JPL season. Well, one thing I can say is that the cousins um, who, who brought the club this far are to be commended for their vision. Yeah and their willingness to, to try to take it to the next step and to bring us in. Um, we're really grateful for that partnership, for that, that, that opportunity for the 10 years. Um, to, to, and that's why I wanted long term, yeah. you know, for us to be able to, to take it to the next level. I think that, you know, just the, 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 the infrastructure that we want to create, we want lights down there, we want the fields, we want to fix up a training field yeah. so we can be professional, our field must be pristine. And we want to have the players dominating. And we can't ask them to dominate without making them. When you treat a man like a professional, yeah. you'll be a professional. Yeah. You know, and that's one of the things we want to do. We have the Manning Cup coming up and we have the, the, the Costa Cup coming up. But we also have great young coaches like Kyle and Ricky that are going to take it to the next level. Yeah, well, Craig, want to thank you so much, as well as you, Coach um, Lenny Hyde. And really, f I'm really, really looking forward to see what Fair Phoenix United does this JPL season. Y'all better put your money where your mouth is, as they say. We always do. All right. Thank you so much, Craig. Thanks again, uh, Lenny. We'll talk again really, really soon. And for you, our viewers, you're going to be hearing a new ring come this JPL season. It's Fair Phoenix United. Stay with us. Thank you.